two weeks out, uh, three to four weeks out, five paid days home. Um, the company will be looking out for transportation, housing, breakfast, and lunch. The only thing you'll be looking after would be your dinner and your weekend meals. Um, it pays you at the rate of sixty cents per mile, eighteen hundred dollars a week. Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call Channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at Bold D Transportation in Lost Cruz, New Mexico. Now, I believe they have affiliations with Masilla Valley Transportation. But in this particular call right here, Masilla Valley Transportation didn't have nothing available for Ohio drivers. So, it was offered. So, Triple D Transportation out of Las Cruz, New Mexico was offered. It is a 1099 company driver. And that's about it. That's about it. If you're interested in Triple D Logistics Transportation out of Las Cruz, New Mexico, stay tuned. Uh, what what's the name of it again? Masilla Valley Transportation. Oh, okay, okay, Masilla Valley. Okay, okay. How much experience you guys are looking for? Uh, that depends on what you have. We will let you know what the job requires. Okay, so I got seven years. And which city and state are you from? We're from Cleveland. Ohio. Okay, the offer that we currently have will be with a company by the name of Triple D. Who? Uh, you basically Triple D. What's Triple V? What? Yes, that's the name of the company. Where are they out of? La Cruz, New Mexico. Where? La Cruz, New Mexico. Okay, what they got to offer, and how would you guys get us down here? Three weeks out. Uh, three to four weeks out, five paid days home. Um, the company will be looking out for transportation, housing, breakfast, and lunch. The only thing you'll be looking after would be your dinner and your weekend meals. Um, it pays you at the rate of 60 cents per mile, $1,800 a week. What's the name of the company again? Triple D. Triple V as in Victor. D as in doctor. Oh, uh, D as in doctor. What will be the transportation down? I'm sorry? What will be the transportation? For you to get to the location? Yes, ma'am. It can either be a bus or it can be a flight. Okay. Uh, if we choose to drive down there in the car, would you guys reimburse us for the for the rental? There wouldn't be any um, parking space for that, so we actually wouldn't advise for you to do so. We usually just provide you with a plane if it is, it's uh, too far for you to drive. We would prefer to provide you with a plane, with a flight. So you say there won't be no room for us to, to park down there? I mean, if we coming down there for orientation, will we be in a, in a hotel? Yes, sir. Oh, okay, so there's parking at the hotel. Right? They actually do not have anything there for them. So the hotel it's an that accommodation, you... it's, a, it's an accommodation that the, the company will be working for provides. Uh, so as it pertains to parking space, they actually do not accommodate that directly because there isn't anyone to look over your vehicle in case anything do happen. That's why we always advise for, you, for us to either provide you with a flight or for us to bus, uh, book a bus transportation. Don't don't get me wrong. I'm I'm just trying to work this in my head because usually I'm I, I don't mind driving. That's that's what I'm saying. You know, when I when I get down to the hotel or something like that, you know, I, I will have a car available to me so that I can, you know, drive around if need be. I won't have to segregate myself to the company to say like, hey, I need to get to Walmart and I have to wait for somebody to either come and get me or use the company car. So if there's a hotel that I'm going to and it's parking there, that's not a problem. All right, we can we we can move on. Um for orientation for drug screening, 
uh, what what is it? Hair follicles or urine or both? Both. Both. Okay. Do you guys accept SAP drivers? We do, but it needs to be at least uh, four to five years old. In other words, no. Uh, what uh? So what what lanes will we be running out of? Uh, we were working with all forty eight states. Do you guys run Canada? Repeat that. Canada. Do you guys run Canada? Repeat that, please. I say Canada. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes, they actually do uh, go there sometimes. Oh, okay. On the load that they have. Okay. 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 So you guys do run Canada. Is the is the dispatch forced? No, it's not. Okay. Okay. So you already mentioned the mileage pay, which is sixty cent a mile. Uh, would sits zero, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so how many miles uh, I can expect, and is it con- and is it consistent? They actually didn't mention that. Let me just go ahead and see if I can get this information from my manager directly. Mostly, they provided us directly with the main information. I believe they would actually tell you that whenever we have your information sent over. Mostly, what we have would be your pay. The orientation pay, the sign-on bonus, uh, drug test that will be completed. Um, they basically would have mentioned that it's a 1099 offer. And uh, there is a 2500 to 5000 end of year bonus that they usually provide to you guys. Also, there is a pet policy and a ride-along policy if it is you want to bring along someone with you. So this ain't um, W-2? It's 1099? It's a 1099 offer. Oh, it's is so company driver at 1099. So I don't get no, no, uh, no benefits or nothing like that. With Triple D, no. Would I get it with uh, M- uh, Millis Valley? With Masala Valley, yes. But we actually do not have anything to offer you at the moment. That's the reason why I brought up Triple D. Uh, what are the trucks? What what are the what are the equipment and what are they covering that? They're covering up to seventy two and it's Freightliner or Cascada, the newest model, twenty twenty one. Uh, do they have cameras in there? They actually did not specify that, but based on our experience, they usually do. You did mention something about a sign on bonus. How how is it paid out? It's twenty five hundred sign on bonus paid out to you in parts. The first uh, amount will be two fifty. Per, uh, they actually give you two fifty a week, from two fifty to fifteen hundred dollars a week. Triple D. So let me ask you this: uh, Millis Valley is they an association, or are you guys a recruiter, outside recruiter recruiting for both companies? We actually recruit for MVT directly. That's our main company. But Triple D is one of our third-party companies we currently have that we would work for as well. So if we do not have anything to offer you, we have you sent over to that company. For uh, Millis Valley, what, what, how, am I pronouncing that right? Melissa? Missella Valley. Missella Valley. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, it's so okay. Missella Valley, in order for me to, to work there, like, do I have to live in a different city or something like that? Well, where are they located at? Not directly. We usually have, uh, we usually provide jobs within your location. You did mention you're from Ohio. However, uh, currently the spots for there are filled, so we do not have anything to offer you at the moment. The information that I, I saw on Instagram because I, I think this is where I put my information in that is incorrect. Because on, on, the, on the sponsored page where I put my information in, it says that you guys have, uh, have stuff available. So is that like a bait and switch type deal? You know, we called or you call us and say, hey, you know, we don't have nothing available and then switch us over to a 1099 joint? No, sir. We usually do have space for you guys, but currently those spots were filled on Friday. So we actually do not have anything else or the capacity to hold anyone else within that available spot until it's reopened. Once again, it's currently closed until they have enough space to have you guys there. So 
I guess when I put all my information in Friday, it was closed. So you guys decided to give me a call today to offer me the triple D joint, right? Correct. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, thank you. Um, 60 cent a mile as a 1099 driver don't sound too interesting to me, but I do appreciate the call. So thank you very much. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Masilla Valley Transport. Wait a minute. Triple D Trucking. Uh, I, I never heard of them. Triple, triple D trucking, trucking out of New Mexico. See what uh, Google has for us. All right. Triple D logistics out of Las Cruz, New Mexico. So I don't see no website for them, but let's see what the reviews R. Let's start with the. All right, so we're going to start with the lowest. Uh, this driver says, if someone tells you they need a truck driver here, prepare yourself upon signing an agreement that you will not sue them for anything and you will owe them a thousand dollars for new Freightliner Cascadia that is under recall that they never get fixed. <laughs> This one says, I've been looking at the reviews on here and can someone be honest and let me know if they are a good company or not. So far, so many bad reviews on here. It is crazy. This uh, driver says, this company will lie to you and cheat you out of your money. They will not reimburse tolls, lumpers or fees, horrible communication and will require you to roll your hours with no opportunity for home time. They will also change your hours through their system. Make sure you get your last paycheck before you quit. So here's this young lady calls. Uh, let me know that she's a recruiter for Masilla Valley Transport. Uh, they got a sponsored uh, ad on Instagram and um, saying that what they got to offer and they're looking for drivers. So she calls me up and say, hey, you know, I'm with MVT. I says, uh, what's MVT? Oh, it's Masilla Valley Transport. Like, oh, OK, I heard of that. You know, I see their trucks out here. Uh, I knew a YouTuber that used to drive for him back in the day. So what you guys got available? Well, as you guys heard, she don't have nothing available. Whether you live in Ohio or any other state. She says Friday, all of the positions was filled. All the positions was filled on Friday. But the ad is still up, though. So, hmm. So I, as I, you know, caught her out on it, I, I, I feel that this was a bait and switch type deal. So you call me up and say, hey, this is Masilla Valley Transport. We're looking for drivers. I'm like, cool. I'm out of Ohio. Oh, sorry. We don't have nothing available. But you know what, though? We have a company all the way down in Las Cruz, New Mexico. Oh, okay. New Mexico. Clear across the map. Uh, How you going to get me down there? Oh, well, we can get you down there by bus. <laughs> okay, if you don't want to, if you don't want to do the bus, we'll, we'll fly you down there. Okay, well. I like to drive. Well, you know, if I if I was to rent my own car and go down the way, would you guys reimburse me? No, they don't have no parking lots. No parking lots? Y'all heard that, right? No parking lots? Like, no parking? But you're going to put me in a hotel that don't have a parking lot, though. So, 
I don't know. They got 1099. They got a rider policy. They have a pet policy. Uh, 60 cent per mile at 1099. You guys know how I feel about that. If I'm going to do any type of 1099 company, it's not going to be no for no 60 cent a mile. Whether a regular W-2 company is damn near offering the same thing. See, what I was saying before about these companies, about how they are not uh, competitive. Everybody says, yeah, I'm competitive this and I'm competitive that. That's not competitive. Damn near all the companies is offering maybe 60 cent or less. There's... There's maybe a small percentage of companies that may offer a little bit more. But you probably might have to have your endorsements and it's probably going to need a little bit more experience. But for you new drivers that's coming in, yeah, you, you're going to see anything from 60 cent on down. And 1099. <laughs> 10.99. I, I don't know. Drivers, have, it, 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 let, let me ask you this. I got a twofold question for you, like I always do. Have Number one, if you drive or driven for uh, Triple D Logistics out of New Mexico, let us know in the comments below of your experience with the company. Also, the second question is, have you guys even heard of this company? I'm afraid to pull up the safer score. I mean, I already went to Google, type it in, and you can see the reviews. Make sure y'all do the reviews. And if y'all need to go to the safer score, definitely go there. I myself feel that this was a bait and switch type of deal, but still I'm bringing the information to you guys because it might be something that you might be interested in. I am your host, Lockout Men, and this is the MTC on the Recruiter Call Channel. If you guys want to get your suggestions in, you could do it three ways. One way is the Gmail, Lockout Men Podcast Guests at gmail.com. Let me know who you want to hear from next or what review that you want to hear from next. Then on the flip side, you can hit me up in the DM or on the flip side you can just leave it in the comments below you can also support the cause by the cash app let me know dollar sign lockout men and put the name of the company in the notes and i will get it out there to you along with a shout out until next time everybody who's next, who's next?